Hi, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730. Specifically in this one, we're gonna go over mass updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, if you uh, watched our last two videos in this series, you saw how to update the BIOS and how to update your iDRAC. Uh, well, this video is really awesome because it's going to show you how to do mass updates. And it's going to show you uh, how to do that. And we're going to enter it through the uh, lifecycle controller. Uh, this is going to update your BIOS, uh, your iDRAC, your firmware, your onboard diagnostics, your NIC, plus so much other stuff. It's awesome. Um, it honestly will take hours to do depending on how uh, old your R730 is. Um, there's time where we have to, uh, we get some in and uh, we're, we're building them out and we have to update them and we run them all night and we come back in and the updates still aren't done. It's crazy, uh, but it's awesome uh, process overall. Um, this will get your system uh, as current as possible, uh, which we highly recommend because uh, things like, for instance, if you want to uh, use your uh, a V4 processor instead of a V3, well, you need to have updated BIOS, right? Uh, there's just things that this will uh, help you uh, as far as voiding problems and just making sure that everything is just current and up to date. So let's get rolling. We're going to show you how to do this. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by again today to learn more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. As we continue our series, this part is going to be about how to do mass updates. We're going to show you uh, how to just run a bunch of updates at one time. All right, well, let's get rolling. So uh, first things first, you're going to boot up your system just like normal. Uh, you're going to click F10 to get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller. Uh, once you get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller, uh, which does take a little bit of time, uh, sometimes during the um, just the initialization, uh, it, it's not always the, uh, the fastest because obviously it's just booting up, it's got a lot to do, so uh, do be patient with it. But uh, once it does actually officially uh, enter into the lifecycle controller, uh, you'll have an option where you can uh, select your actual settings, uh, which is going to be on the left, and then you can navigate down to uh, network settings. All right, so after you click network settings, you need to make sure that you pick the network port that your Cat5 cable is plugged into. Ours is under the integrated NIC1 that's selected. Then for the IP address source, you need to go to DHCP. And once you're done, you're going to click finish in the bottom right corner. This will apply the changes and automatically set the IP address, which will give the server internet access. All right, it's going to pop up and say success for your network settings. You're going to click OK. Once you click OK, you're going to want to go to firmware update. Once you select firmware update, you're going to get several options. You're going to want to click launch firmware update. Once you've launched the firmware update, you're going to want to select Network Share CIFS or NFS or HTTPS or HTTPS server. And then you're going to click Next. Once you've clicked Next, there's going to give you um, several different options and you're going to select the, uh, the bubble for HTTPS. Under the Share Name Address, you want to make sure that it says downloads.dell.com. All right, after you click Next, do know it's going to take some time to prepare uh, all the different updates that you need. Uh, so right now it's a little bit of a waiting game. Just be patient, sit back and relax uh, as it goes through. You might get prompted with something like a firmware update. As far as um, Lifecycle Controller does not import, just click Yes. Uh, that's not a big deal. And really you're just going to keep waiting for a little bit of time here and it'll pop up and it'll show you um, all the, you know, the various updates that you need to do. Um, and again, you know, it's just a waiting game. So we're going to actually fast forward for a second here. All right, so eventually it's going to pop up and it's going to show you all of the various updates that you need. Uh, it'll be different for different people. On ours, you can see everything from, you know, the OS driver pack, the NIC needs to be updated, firmware is going to need to be updated. It's just going to go through literally every individual thing, which is really, really nice that it's going to show you all the different you know, options and everything that you need to do. Uh, looks like our you know, HBA 330 needs to be updated. The iDRAC controller needs to be uh, updated. So basically everything just realistically needs a, a good refresh for this server here. So And do note when you, um, you select all of them, click Apply, 
it will take anywhere from you know a few minutes to hours and I do mean that hours sometimes uh, we'll do mass updates and we you know we're needing to update 100 servers at a time we'll leave them running overnight and come back and some of them still aren't done so it, it does take quite a bit so if it's something that uh, you know you don't want it down or whatever I, I do recommend doing it overnight sometimes it's helpful but in general just do expect it will take some time after you've applied all the updates you want to verify that the updates went through um, you're simply just going to hit F10 back on the boot menu. You're going to go back into your lifecycle controller, click firmware update, and you'll view your current versions. And this will actually show you uh, that everything is the you know the most current version is up to date, and that everything is you know ready and and good to go. So uh, appreciate you stopping by today to learn how to do some mass updates on your R730 server. If you're looking to custom build one, do us a favor, email us at sales at cloudninjas.com or check out our website. We'd love to quote you and earn your business. Appreciate you stopping by. Take care.